Peter Dinklage, the actor famously known for playing the role of Tyrion Lannister in the series Game of Thrones, was born in Morristown, New Jersey. His father was an insurance salesman who was usually without a job, and his mother was an elementary school music teacher. His childhood was not easy because he was born with a chondroplasia, a common form of dwarfism. It's a genetic condition that affects bone growth. In those with the condition, the torso is typically of normal length, but the arms and legs are short. When he was younger, he was often angry and bitter about his condition and put up walls around him. But as years passed, even though it wasn't easy, Peter accepted his condition and realized that you just need to have a sense of humor. You have to know that it's not your problem, it's theirs. The star of Game of Thrones grew up as the only dwarf in his family. He was always attracted and fascinated with theater, music and films. Because of that, Peter studied for a drama degree at Bennington College and also took part in several productions before he graduated. He then moved to New York with his friend to build a theater company. They moved into an unheated apartment filled with rats, but soon, because they didn't have money to pay rent, they had to move out of this apartment. He had to make some money to survive in the big city. He was really struggling as an actor, because he only had offers to play elves and leprechauns. He turned down those job offers out of principles. He felt that they were insulting to him as a dwarf, so his acting career was put on hold. For the next six years, Peter had to work at a data processing company. I hated that job, and I clung to that job. Ten years in a place without heat, six years at a job I felt stuck in. Maybe I was afraid of change. Are you? How his life changed. When I was 29, I told myself, the next acting job I get, no matter what it pays, I will from now on, for better or worse, be a working actor. Now I didn't have either the internet or cell phone or a job, but something good happened. I got a low-paying theater job in a play called Imperfect Love, which led to a film called 13 Moons with the same writer, which led to other roles, which led to other roles. I worked as an actor ever since. I didn't know that would happen. In 2011 came his most impressive and significant role as Tyrion Lannister in the series Game of Thrones, based on a George R. R. Martin's A Song of Ice and Fire. But because of his past stereotypical dwarf job offers, he had some concerns before taking the offer. In a Reddit AMA, Peter wrote, I had one hesitation because of the fantasy genre. I told him I don't want a really long beard and pointy shoes, and they assured me this character and this world wasn't that. They told me about his complexity, the fact that he wasn't a hero or a villain, that he was a womanizer and a drinker, and they painted a flawed and beautiful portrait of him. So I signed on, and he was not mistaken. He became one of the most loved and respected characters in Game of Thrones, but also in real life. Taking this role changed his life. Peter Dinklage won a Golden Globe Award for his performance in Game of Thrones. He also won three Primetime Emmy Awards. But what if he didn't take that leap? What if he didn't see past his fears and stayed at his job, miserable, for the rest of his life? At 29, walking away from data processing. I was terrified, but this made me very hungry, literally. I couldn't be lazy. Now I tell you this story, because the world might say you're not allowed to yet. Please don't ever bother asking. Don't bother telling the world you're ready. Show it. Do it. Trust me, the rhythm sets in. Just try not to wait until, like me, you're 29 before you find it. And if you are, that's fine too. Some of us never find it. But you will. 
I promise you. Raise the rest of your life to meet you. Don't search for defining moments, because they will never come. The moments that define you have already happened, and they will already happen again. Don't wait until they tell you you're ready. Get in there. I waited a long time out in this world before I gave myself permission to fail. What did Beckett say? Ever tried? Ever failed? No matter. Try again. Fail again. Fail better. The world is yours. Treat everyone kindly and light up the night. So, what's your story?